this is what I've been working on. So you guys have seen some of the videos, but I'm so busy with a lot of stuff here. So this is a 48 volt, 6.4 amp per module. Each module is a 6.4 and the wattage of each module is 307.84 watt hours. So I have uh, 14 of them, six already stacked. And you can see they're all in parallel and um, they're all at a voltage at 54.6 volts, which uh, each pack or each module of these guys here, this top module, that's a PCB board. Each module has um, 52 cells inside. And this is uh, 4.2 volt per cell. Okay, 4.2 volt per cell. And um, if you multiply that by that number, and you will see it comes to, um, which is a 13S configuration. So 4.2 volt times 13, uh, 14. So that will give you that 54.6 volt. And the total amp hours for this bank here and is um, 89.6 amp hours, this entire bank. So I have two of them here that are not even connected yet. I ran out of the uh, two gauge cable here and I have to order some and um, build this other guy and maybe add them up since I have 14 of them. Maybe I can make them to 16 even. Then I can go from there. So the total 307. So 307.84 times 14. That gives us a 4.309. So 4,309 what hours so 4.3 kilowatt battery bank including that total and these are the panasonic cells like i said earlier and 307.84 watt hours on each module at 6.4 amp hours this module here, or these banks right now, they can pull a whole lot of power. So I already used some Kempton tape. So what I'm gonna do, I just have to do the connection here. Take the positive from here, which I already got the cable, which is a six gauge wire. So I'm gonna use a six gauge wire to connect each string. So this is a positive right here. I'm taking it up here and I'm taking the negative down here to pull the power. I'm going to do the same thing. So now I'm going to be having 14 strings of these and get them into parallel. So if you use a six gauge wire, you multiply that by six or four, uh, 14 of them. That gives you exactly um, what total gauge wire if it's compared to this or maybe it's going to be... Um, a two gauge a wire conductor or maybe end up to be a one gauge or zero gauge that's gonna go into the bus to give this so what I'm doing right now here if you take a look I balance I'm balancing them so these batteries are all balanced they are sitting at uh, 151 151.46 volt okay let's give it a try using one hand or using a tripod so bear with me so if I put this guy right here
51.6 volts so all these six modules already balanced since yesterday i put them together because i'm using this copper wire string and all the way down to balance these batteries this one i haven't done that yet but if you see what i'm doing here um they're already um balanced in twos so this one is sitting at uh, 51 0.26 there's a discrepancy on the voltages here that's why i decided to tie them in the strings of twos okay so you see that one over there sorry about that so if i keep going down the rack and all the way down here it's gonna give me this but this one is already tied up it's balancing I have to do the same thing here or when I connect the wires. So the positive gonna be here. I'm gonna use the negative down here. The positive gonna be on the other side here while the negative pulling over here. So that's all I have to do and get this battery into bus bars and tie them right to the spot. By doing so, we are ready to go. And we're going to test these batteries and do a capacity test or load test and see how everything goes from this creation we are doing here live at JW Solo USA, where we always make things happen. Well, it can take a little bit of time due to um, work and a lot of projects and pending. And um, I have a secret I have to tell you guys who. I have a secret I have to tell you, it's coming, it's coming, well you guys will see that, I will let you guys know, stay tuned, and subscribe, JW Solar USA, live from Minnesota, Command Center, and bye for now.